Hi, this is just going to be a short tutorial on how to run the mods that I've published with trophies enabled. I'm recording this on remote play through my PC just so that you can see what's going on when I close the game down. It'll, it'll just easier to follow. So let's start the game. And then once this is loaded up, what I'll do is I'll just load up a save game that is a, a new save without any mods or anything on it. There we go, continue. And then from there, I'll just show you what to look out for because what I'm going to do is uh, load in one of the field of view mods because that's the easiest to show on, on video. So now we've loaded in, we've got uh, two things to look for. On the left hand side we've got a shadow just down the edge, uh, the edge of a banner hanging on the wall. And then on the right hand side we've got Rayloff's back right up against the edge of the screen. And what I'm going to do now, I need to go enable the mod. So if we go to the quick game and OK. And then from here, go down to mods. And just while this logs in, what's going to happen is once we enable the mod, that'll load in this configuration file. Um, and what we'll need to do then is restart Skyrim because Skyrim will read this configuration file when it starts up. It doesn't work in the same way as a normal mod does. So on here, you just need to pick whichever one you. Uh, of the mods that I've published. We've got the details update that I've already downloaded, I've just been doing that for testing purposes and then on here I've got the 90 field of view 60 frames per second mod that's been downloaded. Pick, tr pick whichever one you want, uh, download it and then just go to uh, enable. And then once you've done that just give the description a quick read because that will probably help you a little bit. This video should help you a bit more. And then we want to back out, back out again. And this is going to load, this is going to reload the data files, which essentially is loading the the plugin uh, of the mod into the, the data of, of Skyrim. This is now disabled trophies, which is fine. Uh, the only changes that this mod makes is through the configuration file. So what we need to do now is close Skyrim down because what that means by doing that it allows Skyrim to then reread that configuration file information that's been loaded along with the mod along with the plugin file and it's that configuration file that's got all the information as I've said. So we've closed Skyrim down and click play again. Skyrim's now going to read that that loaded config which is fine. And then once this is loaded up we still don't want to continue game because the mod plugin file is still loaded up which is the one that's disabling the trophies. So we want to now go back into here once this is uh, once this is finished spinning go in disable that and then when we back out because we've got no other mods installed go on here and go to disable and then back and then back again reload the data files and because we've got no other mods installed it means that trophies are now re-enabled and that hasn't taken away the configuration information that's already been read into the game, ready to be used. So if I now go to continue, go on to the save, that remember doesn't have any mods installed or anything. Um, once this is loaded in, in just a second, I can uh, show you what to look for. So now we're back back in there, in, in this little game. 
and then you can see on the left and the right hand side it still looks the same but um, I made a note in the description of the uh, mod itself what you need to do is bring up the menu that's on the circle button for whatever reason and that will now trigger the um, the field of view the the update now as you can hopefully see we're now running at a 90 degrees field of view and that's brought in the flag the banner on the left hand side and we've now got a space behind the lost bar you'll also notice that the gate's a bit further away but that's just the uh, the side effect of having an in increased field of view on a flat screen and that's it really um, the only other tip I can give is maybe just go in before you quit out of Skyrim and if, if you've done playing go in to mods again just re-enable them because that reloads in that config file which is read on the startup of the game and that just saves you an extra step um, so yeah if you've got any comments leave them down below and I'll see do my best to answer them and if you would like to consider subscribing please subscribe and thanks for watching